Hi guys, today we're going to look at designing self-reports and this is for the OCR A2 psychology spec. Designing self-reports. Open questions. These type of questions allow the participant freedom to respond and give them the opportunity to explain their answers. Closed questions. These type of questions give the respondent a limited range of answers to choose from and this is this was the case in Baron Cohen's eyes task. Rating scales. This is, one of, this is one way of measuring variables where the participant will be asked, for example, on a scale of 1 to 10, where 10 is very much and 0 is not at all, how much do you love psychology? And we all know that's a big 10. Likert scales. This is where the participants are given a range of answers from which they select the one that represents the extent to which they like, dislike something, or agree, disagree with something. By assigning numerical values to Likert scales, it is possible to generate quantitative data. And here is a little example um, of what they look like. Semantic differential scales. This is used to put something on a scale between two descriptive words such as strong and weak, or ugly and beautiful. To create a scale of this kind, psychologists take two contrasting words which reflect what is being measured. Then there are a number of spaces on the continuum for the, for the person to mark their rating. There are usually no more than 12 spaces, as participants may get bored or just tick the middle box. And here is an example of that if you want to pause the video and have a look. So I'm going to go through the strengths and weaknesses of the open questions, closed questions, and, and etc. So for open questions, uh, these give participants freedom to respond and explain their answers. Uh, they give qualitative data, meaning these psychologists can obtain rich and detailed information, and this gives increased realism. Uh, however, they are difficult to analyse and compare the responses, as the data needs to be coded or quantified in some way, which might not be simple. It can therefore be difficult to establish the reliability of qualitative responses. For closed questions, these provide quantitative data that can be easily summarised, presented and compared between participants or conditions, thereby making it easy to test for reliability. However, the information obtained will be limited and important information may be missed, where respondents are una unable to go in depth. The respondents may feel frustrated and or constrained by the limited number of responses available, which could affect their attitude towards the research. The strengths of Likert scales are that these can, can increase the ecological validity of a rating scale, since people have a range of verbal options to choose from, and this is not as artificial as a numerical scale. It is possible to generate quantitative data from these scales by assigning each, each answer a number, thus meaning the results can be analysed and compared. However, the participants could falsify their answers or get bored, and could just circle a random answer, and this applies to most of these scales. Uh, for rating scales, um, they provide a quantitative measure, which means, again, it can be compared and analysed. However, participants could also just falsify their answers or get bored. Um, for semantic differential scales, a unique benefit of, these, uh, of this scale is that it offers respondents the opportunity to, to express their opinions about the concept more fully. That is ranging from negative polar, e.g. weak, uh, to the positive polar, e.g. strong. However, again, participants could just falsify their answers or get bored and just circle a random answer. And this occurs especially if there are a lot of spaces on the continuum. The participants may also need reasonable vocabulary, and since it is based on words, there may be cultural limitations. Strengths and weaknesses of self-report methods. The advantages of using self-report data are that psychologists are able to measure cognitive variables, such as memory, knowledge and attitudes, which cannot be either observed directly or tested for in any biological test. For example, without the use of self-report, the study by Loftus and Palmer would not have been possible. The weaknesses of using self-report are that the validity of the data can be put into question and partic as participants are able to falsify their answers. This could be because they are responding to demand characteristics present in the study or because of, ev of evaluation apprehension, which is where they lie to give a socially desirable answer to avoid being seen in a negative light. Thank you for watching that short video, I hope you made some notes as I went along and I'll be making some more videos, so make sure you check those out. Thank you.